Hi, this is Jay for Simply Maya, and welcome to this freebie tutorial. Uh, we're going to be creating uh, some dynamic rope um, without the use of dynamics um, or n hair and stuff like that. So, really, what we're going to be doing is creating a curve that we're going to attach uh, to the poly object, and um, there's a little command or a little attribute we're going to add to that curve that's going to enable us to preserve the volume uh, of this rope, if you will, while we pose it. Um, so, uh, let's get cracking on that one. Um, so this tutorial is going to be pretty fast and furious, as you can tell. So I've already um, created this uh, rope uh, object out of four cylinders, subdivided those up, uh, a bit of scaling, and used the twist deformer um, to wrap them around each other. So what we need to do now um, is create a, uh, a curve. Um, so what we're going to do, go into a top view here. So we're going to go create uh, curve tools, CV curve. Uh, so what I'm going to do is start the curve on the grid here, so I'm just using X to snap, and then the next one there, and then and so on. So we're just going to do this all the way across uh, the actual object. So uh, excuse me if there's a bit of a silence while I do this. So. One there, and the very last one just there. Okay, and hit enter. And then what we're going to do is select the CVs or the control vertex. Uh, use the uh, scale tool just to make sure everything is in line. And again, in the side view or front view, whichever one you want to call it. Um, and then back to F8 and then W. And we're going to snap that to the grid itself just to make sure everything is centered up uh, within our object as well. So there we go, that should all be pretty good, even though the perspective is sort of thrown out a little bit. Let's just make sure everything is okay. So it's, ah, that's why. So let's just snap that to the grid. So it would help if it was actually centered to the object. Okay, so that's all done. Okay, so we're ready to go. So what we need to do now is go over to the uh, animation menu set or the module and if we just go to the form and what we want is the wire tool okay to create a wire deformer okay so with that selected in the toolbox we're first of all we're going to select the uh, poly rope and hit enter and then we're going to hit the curve as well with the tool same tool and hit enter again and if we go to uh, wireframe okay as you can see at the moment without anything selected everything's the usual sort of blue color but if we select the wire that should now go pink, which it has, which means that the curve is now attached, uh, not dynamically, but it's almost like rigged um, to the rope itself. So if we go back to shaded mode, and uh, if we right click on the curve, uh, CV, and as you can see, it's all connected. Now, this is great. You know, This means that we can now pose uh, our rope however we want, um, but the problem is, Doing it this way uh, means you will start to sort of lose uh, volume uh, in areas uh, of the, uh, you know, of the object. As you can see, you know, it's sort of doing some nasty stuff uh, as we do that. So, and if you wanted to, you know, make a circle of it, you know, whatever, you know, you're, you're just sort of stretching everything out of shape. So the volume is being lost um, completely uh, because of the way you're pulling the curve around. So what we're going to do. There's a little attribute that we're going to add. Let's just undo that. So there's a little attribute we're going to add to the curve. So if we hit F8 and go over to the modeling uh, menu set, and we're going to go to curves and we're going to go to lock length. Okay, so just hit that. And as you see in the channel box, it's given us the lock length attribute, which is now attached to our CV curve. Now, what it will do, it will preserve the length of the curve over the object. Okay, and it will also help us uh, preserve volume on the object once we start to uh, move the curve around, if you will. So let's just show you now what this is going to do. So if we go to Control Vertex, so if I just grab that, and I can do that straight away. Okay, so it's pretty neat. So I'm already posing up. As you can see, you get a little bit of a twist, but that's where it's trying to adjust itself uh, to preserve the volume. But as you can see there, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool. So that's just one sort of part of it. 
So let's just put that all back. But if I grab the other end, what I can do is now just start to move it around. So it's got some real cool uses. Um, so what I can do now is just you know pose that to the other end. You know, it's flipping out just a little bit, but because we've got this lot length on and stuff, you know, we can just edit that until we're happy with how our object is. Um, the other thing as well, so let's say for example, um, okay, let's just undo all of this. Okay, let's just make sure everything's okay. Yeah, that's cool. So let's say for example, you want to wrap a rope. Um, let's create a cube. Uh, so you want to wrap the rope around a sort of a cubic object. So let's just, I don't know, let's just create something sort of random. Okay, like so. And you know you want to wrap that uh, around it. So let's just, you know, you might want to let's just undo that. It's probably not the best um, direction to uh, show. But let's say, for example, you know you've got it into a you know reasonable position. Okay, like so. And you now want to edit. Uh, everything so it all fits you know nicely around the uh, the cube itself well the problem you know it's fantastic that, that we have this going on uh, with a lot length and stuff it, and, but the thing is it, it does tend to uh, flip out uh, every so often as you can see uh, this area here uh, if I move that it, it's kind of a bit funny so the cool thing is what we can now do is turn off lot length okay because for the most part we preserved the volume of the uh, rope so you can now just go back to editing the object like um, as if it was just a standard uh, wire deformer you know, like so and uh, hopefully everything should sort of work and fall into place you might need to give it a bit of an adjustment here and there but um, the great thing is is that it's really quick uh, to get something sort of done and again you can then use turn that on just hit one on the keyboard you know and you can you know you can just start to adjust it just a little bit better okay and there you go so when you're happy with that obviously select the object and delete the history um, my advice is if you're going to do a load of these um, put, put them in a group uh, but you will have to sort of reset everything you know create the wire deformer create the lot length and stuff all over again um, but once it's all set up it's uh, it's pretty neat and um, yeah it's very very useful so let's just push that sort of over there like so and if I blow the history away then I can then duplicate this and it looks like I've just got a load of rope wrapped around it's probably not the best uh, example but um, you know if I move those out it will then look like you know we've got a lot of rope wrapped around that polycube and stuff so it's very very useful um, and it can do all, all sorts of other shapes and stuff like that um, it just depends on how many CVs that you create along with um, uh, along with it when you uh, create the curve and stuff like that. So it's entirely up to you how you're going to use it. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a Fast and Furious uh, tutorial um, on how to create and keep volume on a rope. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, cheers for now. Thanks.